Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, September 10th to September 16th, 2018 and while I'm shuffling the cards it's going to be tarot and Lenormand reading, excuse me and while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you that should you go for a personal reading with me all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well of their pricings and as it is a summer end or the summer is ending there is a summer end sale going in or going on uh, and basically by purchasing a 30 minute service it adds 10 minutes on top of it so it saves you 22 US dollars. So that being said, going to the tarot reading first, now uh, this is going to be a four position tarot spread. Now the first position is about the topic for your week, Virgos. Second position, it is uh, about the core of the situation. Third position, that will be the challenges that you have to face. And the last position, it's about the guidance or uh, best, best possible way, you know, to um, take advantage of uh, of the week so let's see what you got here now the first one that will be the topic two of pentacles that will be a very dynamic week because the two of pentacles it's about a small changes that will start happening and with a possibility those changes to uh, snowball so so from one of those changes may be the big change coming in but when we do have the two of pentacles here it points that this week is going to be a, uh, a week dappled with uh, crazy activity so you cannot go with to-go list you have to be adaptable you have to be playful you should be a uh, very Mm, subtle into catching up the opportunity as soon as the opportunity arises itself as well the two pentacles here points that you should attend to everything that you do have into your uh, into your daily routine so what what i mean here is that you shouldn't um give me give your devo more devotion to your career and totally neglect your relationship or, or personal intimate life same goes vice versa you cannot devote entirely into your personal life and neglect entirely your career path as well regardless of are you job um are you having a job or are you having a partner for example if you do if you do not have a job that should not kind of um how can I place it? You shouldn't stop searching for one and give yourself completely completely to your personal life or vice versa. If you do have a job but don't have a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, um, <clears throat> you shouldn't kind of like uh, try to kill the sense of loneliness by being workaholic but go out, you know, date with people, etc, etc. If you don't have neither, well, then you need to spread your time into searching job and searching for job and dating other people, you know, simultaneously. So it's kind of like a, a week where you will be very, very busy with all the things which are falling into your basket here. And for some of you Virgos, the basket could become so heavy that you may have troubles carrying it on. So all in all, uh, you can expect that anything can happen in uh, in this particular week, and that's why uh, those Virgos which like to like to go by with a plan uh, will have less success than those Virgos which are kind of very very adaptable and they can align themselves uh, with the situation as the situation arises so they will be able to take advantage of the openings which the situation uh, present itself uh, present to them in that particular moment now the core of the situation uh, will be the judgment and the judgment is the wake up call this is how the tarot readers uh, calling that car which means that something significant is about to happen and um, or something significant had happening um, had happened in the near uh, or in the recent past should I say this is the core this is why we do have the two of pentacles and right now it is your job to fit it into your daily routine the judgment card it is a very broad card but generally it is connected with uh, the um, 
the change into what, how one sees a certain thing or how one um, thinks about a, a, about a certain thing. So that kind of event could have taken place into your career or into your relationship. But when we do have that card, it is important for you to define in which kind of area of your life you don't see it the same way you have saw it into the past. All right. So that could be, as I said, your career or your relationship. And in this area of your life, it is where those small changes with the possibility to snowball you know, will start happening. Very important here, again, is uh, the capability of alignment. And as well, when we do have the judgment card, there will be a wake up call, or should I say a whisper from the universe. And that whisper usually manifests itself as something awkward happening. And that awkwardness which happens suddenly presents you with another option available, something different to choose. Think of it that way, um, in a certain situation of yours, you could have chose, um, let's say, relationship, and the matter is break it or make it, you know, and you go into the boat, and I'm talking about relationship with a, with a friend of yours, so a friend of yours is revealing their feelings to you, and now you don't have much of a choice but to make a relationship or you know, break with your friend like forever. But now something happens and you suddenly have a third option how to conserve uh, the uh, the relationship, the friendship that you do have with that person. And that will happen, you know, and it is where those kind of like small disruptions and realignments of, of, the, of the connection itself will start taking place from which you can take advantage of, you know, but by not following the plan that you have created for yourself so you can realign yourself with the situation maybe that person will see you in different light and they will decide that they don't love you any longer etc etc the, 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 the possibilities are um, enormously um, enormously many that's why the judgment is so uh, bro is such a broad card, but something very meaningful either ha happened or it is about to happen very soon, which is going to force, you know, things to kind of realign themselves. <clears throat> the challenges that you have to face in this week is uh, the Ten of Cups. And that card speaks that not everything will be of your liking here. For what it seems, you know, you may not find yourself very satisfied with the situation that you have to adapt rather than to adapt the plan based on your liking. But sometimes these things happen, you know. I mean, um, <clears throat> when the Ten of Cups falls into a challenging position as well, asks you to be prepared for some problems that you haven't anticipated as well, that you have been shielded until this very moment, but now those problem, problems will uh, emerge beneath the surface. Not, uh, not much of an overwhelming problem, but yet again, it is something that you need to attend to. That's why I told you at the start that you have to kind of um, give attention to every single field of your, life, of your life and you should not kind of neglect one for the sake of the other. You shouldn't neglect your relationship for the sake of your job, vice versa, or one friendship over another, etc, etc, because um, now it is likely having these three cards that you may come to knowledge or it may come to your knowledge that there are certain problems which are uh, not attended to until this very moment and they have been sitting there hidden because you have given more attention into one field than into other and now you have to kind of like restore the balance, should I say that way, which is going to give you um, another option available or, you know, option to kind of stabilize uh, things and to reach a equilibrium or a balance. And the best way to do so, we do have the sun card. I'm very peculiar here. Make peace. Basically, this is what the card says. First, uh, whatever you are attend to, do not try to alter it against it, its will. What I mean is that you go with uh, your relationship, you go with your project at work, etc., etc. Allow them to unfold naturally. Do not 
push them. Now it's different thing. I mean, you need to attend to and to push them are two different things. You have to pay, um, give your devotion into them, but that doesn't mean that you need to try to up the um, or alter the outcome. But you have to be um, kind of. Um, humbled about where the situation is going toward. Very important with the Sun card as well is if you do have some arguments, if you do have some, um, let's say, disputes as well, to try to make it up, uh, to, to settle down those disputes and win those people uh, on your side as well, because the Sun card is the peacemaker and that's why you have to make a, a peace uh, in this week either with your uh, partner into your relationship co-workers into your career friends as well etc etc uh, it's also the car speaks for uh, contributing for the t for the happiness of all which means that you have to play the role of lifting the spirits of everybody that touches you every situation that you touch as well uh, so uh, into your into your career you have to be the one who cheers up into your relationship you should be the one who contributes for the happiness of your partner because this is the way I see the things into one relationship and I don't ask you to be agreed with me, you know. But if the happiness of your partner is not your happiness, then I don't know what you're doing there, you know. So the whole thing into one relationship is to make your partner happy because when you see them happy, you are happy as well. And this is what the card points, that you should realign, you know, your schedule, for example, or you should um, kind of like uh, drop off a, a certain expectations as well. That could also speak here that you shouldn't go with a certain plan or change the plan into the last possible moment so you can see your partner happy. It, it is all about that, seeing the others happy so you can feel the happiness as well. So that being said, going to the uh, Lenormand card spread, um, which is going to show a uh, event that will happen uh, this week and you should either look forward to or try to avoid should you can. All right, so the first card that we do have is the lady, which speaks for a woman. Then we do have the fish, which stands for either money or growth. And then we do have the path, uh, which speaks for choice. So a woman will present you growth through decision making. What we said here, you shouldn't be adaptable, all right? You should be adaptable, you shouldn't go by a plan. And decision making involves being adaptable, involves breaking a certain plan. So that will um, involve um, a money or will involve growth. Uh, so that may not be, you know, a uh, relationship reading, it may be a um, a career reading here or mostly career orientated but in the same time you should as well you know attend to your relationship you should not neglect it and uh, one more thing about the money that leans toward the money what I'm trying to say is the Sun card here which sits for uh, sometimes sits for monetary success that's why maybe the card comes as a guidance saying that you should go for the money <clears throat> here and that will happen through finding the uh, the right approach you know the right path here as we do have the path making the right choice and the right choice will be defined by the money so uh, there are multiple ways how this uh, or many ways how this uh, career could be well, not career but reading could be uh, interpreted and I hope that it makes sense to you. I mean, I leave uh, that to you guys because this is a, a general reading for the star sign. It is not your personal reading. My job is to tell you what the card means and how they interact with one another, but the sense there it is to be made by you. If you want the sense to be made by me, uh, then 
you have to go for a personal reading which can be achieved by going at my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you know you can find a full list of my services and their pricings as well that being said rat signing out now see you next time bye